the building that you're in is a master work, and the master behind that work is Antoine Predock. Hi, I'm Mark Melnick. In the world of architecture, Antoine Predock is a giant. Based in New Mexico in 2003, he and his team successfully won an international competition to design and build the Canadian Museum for Human Rights. In my conversation with him, you'll learn what human rights means to the man who designed and built a house to honor it. I thought about Winnipeg, I thought about the context, and I thought about the location. You know, the Forks is obviously the place to, to build this building because it was a place of consensus among First Nations leaders. And my inspiration comes from a document that I got kind of out of nowhere. We became aware of a, an international competition up here, an open one, which means you're just, you just throw your cards out. And often, most often I, through my career, I've been invited to enter competitions. You know, you get paid a stipend, you get, you're invited in, there are a few people. This was wide open to the kind of international yellow pages. And, but it struck me about the, uh, what struck me was there was a, a master vision that was um, so profound and so challenging and inspiring that it, there was a, it was a no, no brainer to do it. Just, yeah, we're gonna do it. And then I thought about what, uh, how a building could represent that. So I thought about roots connecting the earth, how cultures that are oppressed are often so connected to the earth darkness to light, those images kind of flooded in as I was working on a clay model, a small clay model of the building. In a sequential mountain of galleries clad in stone, wrapped by a cloud, the cloud containing the administrative section, which is really part of the exhibits of the building, because you'll see, visitors will see people over here working on trying to keep what they just saw from happening again this sort of national global center, national slash global center that the building will, will uh, certainly be. I hope it's a transformational experience, but also the, uh, the sense that, hey, there's, I've been in a very unusual space and there's something that, that has changed me about that too. But to have a building that's so fundamentally charged with uh, a deep responsibility for all mankind, you know, for, for as long as it lasts, how, how could anything overshadow that? I can't think of anything.